Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Hall, and today on behalf of Sequence Multivitamins for African Americans, um, we're going to be talking about the benefits of the zinc that's included in all Sequence Multivitamins. So I think you'll be surprised about the uh, potential benefits of zinc. Certainly during the time of a coronavirus pandemic, it's particularly important to have the adequate amount of zinc in your system because Zinc possesses a potent antiviral effect. It's been proven. Uh, there's a lot of cold remedies that are out that contain a significant amount of zinc. And that zinc, if you take it when you think you're coming down with a cold, will on uh, more times than not uh, prevent you from getting the cold or at least shorten the duration of the cold uh, significantly. A zinc deficiency uh, has been associated with the rapidly increased spread of HIV, of hepatitis C, of herpes, of uh, the coronavirus, and of course, the common cold. So during a pandemic, right, uh, you need some zinc to help uh, fight back those viruses that people are sneezing and coughing out. It's also interesting to know that zinc has some other benefits, including those related to diabetes. Now, you may or may not know that African Americans have the highest incidence of diabetes. And that big tall bar, red bar, those are African American men, and the other red bar is African American women, much higher than whites in the incidence of diabetes as well as the death rate from diabetes, very high. African-American men and women have a much higher death rate from diabetes. So zinc has been shown in a number of studies to um, reduce blood sugar, right? Your blood glucose, blood sugar, that's the problem with, with diabetes and it reduces insulin resistance. And so that's the problem that most people, most type two diabetics are insulin resistant and zinc has been shown to reduce that. It also has been shown to reduce the progression to diabetes for people who have pre-diabetes. And so who knew that zinc uh, can help with a population that has the highest rate of diabetes, African-Americans. Um, zinc has been shown to be helpful, beneficial for both type one and type two diabetes. Again, zinc deficiency is highest amongst African Americans. And so when I was putting together the formula for um, for sequence vitamins, I, I knew I had to put extra amount of zinc in there because zinc deficiency is highest amongst all racial ethnic groups in the United States. But when you think about why that is, why is zinc deficiency so so prevalent? Well, if you look at Africa, Africa is a land of very, it's a very mineral rich land. The, the land is full of minerals, diamonds, and iron and gold, but also zinc and other minerals. Uh, the water then, who, which rinses across the land and waterfalls and uh, also tends to be very rich in minerals. And so the, the foods that are grown in the soil that's rich in minerals are also very rich in these minerals. So keep, keep that in mind. So now zinc levels are very high in Africa. The zinc levels in the water are very high. The zinc levels in the soil are very high. And so what happened was um, Africans developed a, a type of almost resistance to absorbing too much zinc because their resources were so high in zinc. And so that's sort of been shown in what they call these zinc transporters. Um, and so how, how you move zinc from outside of the body into the body. And so the loss of the ability to, to do that has been associated with an increased risk for prostate cancer. So the loss of an efficient way of bringing zinc into the body has been associated with an increased risk of prostate cancer. And so one of the unique features of a healthy prostate is it it has the highest amount of zinc uh, in your body. So your prostate is the most zinc risk risk. <laughs> the prostate is the most zinc rich area in your body, right? 
And so having that zinc where it's supposed to be in your, pro in your prostate um, decreases the ability of your prostate to form a uh, tumor. So the prostate cancer death rate is by far the highest in African-American men. And so this, this graph just shows that in the orange, you see all prostate cancer in, in all individuals. The next one is in whites and the big tall one there is in blacks and then the smaller one is in Hispanic. So the prostate cancer in African-Americans is significantly higher than any other racial group. So the fascinating part for me is that the World Health Organization conducted a worldwide cancer study and found that, that African-American men had a 10 times higher risk for prostate cancer than West African men. And, and, and we are descendants of West African men and are three and a half times more likely to die from cancer. And so that shows that when you migrate from, cancer, from, from Africa to the United States, you inherit this increased uh, tendency toward a number of diseases. And some of that is related to just the environment. Uh, you, you were genetically uh, engineered to live in Africa with its sun, with its mineral rich water and, and soil. And when we displace that into an urban area where we get less sun, where we're, the, the vegetables aren't as rich, the water isn't as rich in zinc, we then become at a competitive disadvantage in terms of our ability to absorb zinc, which is why we need to get more in, in the way of supplements. So when I designed sequence multivitamins um, for older uh, adults, African-American men and women, I knew I needed to put a significant amount of zinc into the formula so that um, we'd have at least tried to balance the lack of zinc in, that we're getting um, in our environment here in the United States and hopefully um, decrease our risk for prostate cancer or for diabetes or for insulin resistance or decrease our risk for catching infections, for catching colds and pneumonias and coronaviruses and all of those things. So the zinc that's in um, this formula is designed to specifically address uh, those needs. In terms of um, the formula for African-American women, again, much more added um, um, zinc in the formula, therefore, uh, we're able to um, help in whatever way we can in terms of fighting off infection and the increased risk for um, diabetes. So our slogan for sequence multivitamins, because our needs are different, some of those differences have to do with coming from Africa and uh, the environmental change that that we sustained in that dramatic uh, migration and us having to having adapted to one environment and now probably in the process of adapting <laughs> to this new environment but we need may need a little bit of help because we, we have all these increased uh, risks for uh, diseases um, left and right so go to sequencevitamin.com, pick out the vitamin that works best for you. I look forward to hearing from, from you regarding your, um, how, how you've done on the multivitamin, and please tell your friends. For now, I'm Dr. Greg Hall.